with Mario Lopez. Yeah, I'm Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom from Fuller House and the CBS show Beyond the Edge, Jody Sweeten. Welcome back, Jody. How are you? Hey, hey, it's good to be here. Nice. Glasses look really cute, by the way. Oh, thanks. They're like my my glasses that I wear uh, when I'm staring at screens all day. They're just little blue light glasses, but uh, figured I'd go with the pink today. I need I need some when I read all the time, as, as you can see right here. But uh, I'm okay. So oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm right around the corner. First off, congrats <laughs> on hitting the fourth level a little while back. Um, how did it feel? That's a big one. Oh man, it's uh, you know I actually am really I'm really liking forty. It's it's nice. I'm I'm kind of happy in my own skin, and that took a while. So I'm I'm finally I think I'm gonna really enjoy being forty. Good for you. It's not our parents' 40 anymore. Women are looking. No, I mean, it definitely isn't. I feel like, you know, Gen, the, Gen Z is, you know, so young. I mean, gosh, I look at my kids and I realize what a huge difference there is. But I also feel like our generation hasn't fully grown out of, you know, hoodies and, and, and Nikes either. So. <laughs> I'm still rocking Jordans. You're exactly right. Speaking of your kids. Yeah, exactly. Is, uh, 14, right? So you have a kid in high school. Uh, she is entering high school. She's finishing eighth grade uh, in just a couple weeks. Oh my gosh, I, we were just talking about it. Um, yeah, she finishes eighth grade in a couple weeks, starts high school. I'm just like, wait, what? How did this happen? Okay. It it, it kind of, it sneaks up on you. And yet it also sometimes feels like a really long time. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, and I apologize. I should have led with this. You, you uh, recently got engaged. Congratulations. How's I did. The- Thank you. Going and stuff. You know, we, I think we're going to keep it really small. So I'm trying not to stress out too much about the wedding planning. I'm sure I will uh, anyway, because it's just what I do. Um, but yeah, we're, we're looking at something small and um, yeah, I haven't really made any decisions about it. I've been working so much. I was in Montreal and then I was shooting here that I haven't had a free moment to really sit and figure out what we want to do. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> You'll be all good. Um, yeah. You're part of Beyond the Edge on CBS. So what made you want to sign up to be stranded in the jungle? (laughs) You know, when they approached me about it, uh, they were like, you know, this is going to be a really great experience. And, you know, one of the things that that the producers really led with was this is not Survivor where everyone is going against each other and backstabbing and having to form alliances and all this kind of stuff it's an alliance amongst all of you at the same time. The only person that can say you're out is you. And that I was really appealing to me because it felt like more of a self challenge than like, how do I go compete against other people? You're competing. Um, Yeah. Yeah. You're competing against yourself. And I, I love a good challenge. I love an opportunity to, to grow or to change. And I was like, I mean, two weeks living in the jungle, you know, when am I ever going to get an opportunity to do that? When am I, I, I would never have the chance. And I Where was like, you? sure, I'm going to do it. Where were, Where were you? We were in Panama. Oh, Panama. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. In Panama. It was absolutely beautiful. We were on in like an hour and a half outside of Bocas del Toro. So we were deep, deep in the jungle. Oh, yeah. A lot of jungle right there. Good for you then. I bet that was uh, almost therapeutic as well at the same time. It was, you know, it was like a complete detox of all outside distractions and it just forced you to be really present. Um, It was in a lot of ways a very life changing moment for me. Yeah, I bet. Now, is this true? Because I read somewhere that you have an idea for another Full House spinoff. (laughs) <laughs> it's it's kind of a running joke at this point we just always talk about it and uh you know candace and andrea and myself always joke that we're going to come back like the golden girls mm. and uh you know it'll be the she-wolf pack mm. and uh you know i i don't think any of us would ever say no to that at some point in the future so you know you the doors know. the door is always open as they say exactly right um Jody, we had Bob Saget on the show so many times. One of our favorites. Yeah. Such a great, great guy. And so many nice memories. What, what, what's something that really sticks out in your mind when you look back at a uh, fond memory with Bob? Oh, man. You know, I, I, I have so many wonderful memories with Bob. Um, you know, I don't even know that it's like a, a, like a specific memory to one time, but I can remember how Bob would give you a hug. Like I can remember how he like would lean in and really hug you. And I can just hear how he would be like, Joe, and like hug me. 
and that was just always how he greeted me was with a big hug and like really kind, gentle, hilarious person that I, that I will greatly miss. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. Well, I'm happy to hear things are going great with you. Um, so congratulations on everything. Uh, you can you. watch Beyond the Edge Wednesdays at CBS. Jody, thanks for checking in. Absolutely. Thanks so much. On with Mario Lopez.